what is the resistance of a two meter long copper wire whose cross sectional area is 0.22 mill, millimeter squared? So we're given a problem to solve for resistance. So we'll pull our friend out of our hat, our equation, and we're going to solve this for resistance. It's already been manipulated. So actually, I'll just paste it again, and we can solve by subbing in numbers. Let's do this together. What is the resistance of copper? It depends on the resistivity of copper. If we go, how do we find the resistivity? Oh, it's not the problem. Where do we find that resistivity or resistivities in general? This information is tabulated in this data table and copper has a resistivity of 1.688 times 10 to the negative eight ohm meters. So that is 1.68 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters. So that's the row value. The length up here is 2 meters. And then finally, we're going to deal with a cross-sectional area. And we'll need to convert from millimeter squared to meter squared. So a common mistake is that folks will forget to make this conversion. And if I'm not mistaken, 0 0.2 uh, millimeter squared will be 0 0.2 times. So the question is, how many mil square millimeters are there in a square meter? So if we had a square meter not drawn to scale, there would be 10 to the 3 a thousand millimeters in one direction and a thousand millimeters in another so that would give us 10 to the 6 millimeter squared per meter so that's a fraction of it so if I'm not mistaken it's going to be 0.2 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters let's reveal our answer just to double check that's right if we look, we can cheat. We we'll use the answer. Res resistivity is 1.68 times 10 to the negative 8. The length is 2 meters. The area will be 0.2 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters, which gives us, and it, we, it's not converted in the first portion, and then it is converted to meters squared. It gives us 0.168 ohms, and we can just double check our units. Meters times meters, try it again, meters times meters will give us meters squared divided by meters squared gives us ohms and we are good to go.